Hi everybody, I just want to talk about additional funding that's available for full-time DIT students. So it's very regular that it occurs to me as a lecturer, indeed once a year for the last well over a decade, students have come to me and let me know that they've been, they've encountered some financial difficulty in terms of continuing with the course. And I just want to let you know that there are grants and schemes available to allow you to continue if you encounter financial difficulties. We're well used to it. It's a, it's, a, it's a relatively regular occurrence. It's no big deal um, in terms of being able to assist you. So don't worry about coming to either a lecturer, your course mentor, your year mentor, whoever you want to talk to. The student union, of course, as well, which as a full-time student, you pay your membership to. And um, they will, can be very helpful in terms of accessing grants for you and helping you continue on with your course. Needless to say as well, the government actually wants you to continue and complete the course because they want to upskill people in third level qualifications. So I just want to talk about a few resources that are available. So in terms of the student union, student union has a, a, a wide range of funding. If you go onto the finance part of their website, so it's ditsu.ie slash welfare slash finance, or just Google DIT students union slash finance or whatever, you should be able to find their site and they have a load of programs available. Or if you want to talk to them face to face, in Kevin Street on the first floor of the Annex building, just at the back of the snackery there, the student advisor and college officer are there. Student advisor in 2015-2016 is Sarah Call, and she's really great. There's her contact details there. And uh, Adil Hader is the college officer, so she's there as well. And I have nothing but positive experiences dealing with students union. They're so professional, but so considerate and caring as well. So I definitely recommend contacting the union. And DIT itself has several schemes that uh, you can access under the broad umbrella term of the Student Assistance Fund. Every scheme has its own particular criteria, opening and closing dates and things like that. So it's as well to sit down with the Students' Union or contact the financial aid in the DIT, as financial.aid at DIT.ie or 402 3394. And they'll definitely give you a hand completing forms. And definitely the, your DIT students rep as well can help you filling out forms for the student financial support. But if you want to go onto the website, DIT.ie, Campus Life, Student Support, Student Financial Support, there's a lot of details there as well. One example of funding that's available from DIT is the Emergency Assist Fund. And let's have a Google for that. And definitely, if you want to apply for it, contact a lecturer, contact the union, contact somebody to help you with it. It's very straightforward. It's, I've had very good experience with students who have been, let's say, suddenly let go for a job and uh, the union have been able to come in or have had uh, their wallet stolen for, for them or things like that. So the, there's excellent resources available there. Um, as well as that, can I point out that the DIT chaplaincy has a wonderful service available to them and um, they are really helpful on a range of issues. DIT.ie slash chaplaincy. I wouldn't worry about the faith end of things. I mean, they're very open to people, irrespective of um, whether people are of faith or not. They're just good people to talk to and good people to ask for advice. The chaplain here in Kevin Street, 2005, 2015, 2016, is Fanula Walsh, and she is really great. She's very knowledgeable about a range of um, supports that are available. As well as that, if you want to go outside of the DIT, the Department of Social Welfare may be able to provide funding, and that's depending on your circumstances. Uh, you might be entitled to a lot of benefits that you're not aware of, particularly if you're living away from your parents. There is the Back to Education supports, and if you pop to, onto the Department of Social Welfare's Back to Education page, there's a lot of good information there. And of course, there's the SUSE, SUSE.ie, the Student Universal Support Ireland grants. So I hope this is helpful. Thanks a million.